Hello, so my name's Indira Horton. Uh, I'm a poet. And I got into poetry, just purely fell into it because I came to a performance night of Trash Arts and I just was like so inspired by what I saw and I was like, I want to do that. So that's how I ended up kind of joining and yeah, falling into poetry. Oh, my style, my style's very macabre. Very, very macabre. Um, I don't know who I could sort of take inspiration from with it because there isn't any kind of poet that really sort of jumps out of me in terms of style, even prose. So yeah, just macabre, maybe a bit like Tim Burton or something. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I love creative career. I would say this. I've never like been filmed for poetry like this before. This was when I got asked to do this. This was like a real shock to the system. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. Like I've always wanted to do something like this and it's actually happening. So yeah, this definitely. I think I've already had it actually. I've been very fortunate whenever I perform for poetry, I've always had sort of a positive response. I'll get off the stage and people will approach me and say, you know, I really liked it. They might pick out bits and pieces and nuances that I put in that really sort of, um, sort of hit them at their core. And I really like that. I think that would definitely be sort of the highlight, just people responding to it positively. And even if they don't like it, just enjoying what they're hearing, if that makes sense. <laughs> I think with art in general, it's authenticity. It's very easy to sort of see someone's style that you like and just kind of stay pigeonholed within that style. And for me, in terms of like poetry, and I'm an animator, so in terms of animation, it's like always trying to push that boundary, see what I can do next, what's kind of what I can move forward with with it. And I think, yeah, authenticity, it's very important. Okay, so today I'm going to perform to you a poem called The Walker. It's in keeping with the sort of macabre theme of my work. And yeah, I hope you enjoy it. He walked the streets, a man of the night, the world around unknowing in slumber, of the danger that lurked within the shadows, behind parked cars decorated with settled raindrops. Boots crunched deafingly against saturated concrete, Breathing laboured, forcing icy air out of burdened lungs, weak and desperate for respite. Hollowed cheeks rosy with the burning wind that whipped around his face, howling a cry to heed the evil that followed a pace behind. Black silhouette illuminated by fluorescent bulbs above, features twisted with menacing glee, sadistic in its craving. Hair rose like soldiers, standing to attention on the back of his neck. Keys clutched in a vice-like grip. Whitened knuckles mirrored a pale face. Front door achingly close as he yearned for a safe haven. Sweat broke out upon his furrowed brow. And then, the quickened pitter-patter of running feet pursue a purchase ground faster than Hermes had ever dreamed ready to steal its prey from sight. No witness underneath the starless night. Eyes squeezed tight, lids concealed the sight. The man held his breath, braced for inevitable impact. And he waited and waited and waited. Breaking bone echoed, ravenous belly filled with torn sinew, strips peeled from carcass, no evidence left behind. He turned, spied upon the working jaws that devoured another stalker's remains. Facial expression, a mask of relief. Free hand pet, the unlikely friend. So horrific in design, but he did not mind. Good boy, he whispered, and home they ventured, ready to repeat it all as soon as dusk fell once more. Thank you.